Last year, I found out about how severe the issue of child sex trafficking is in the United States. It's an estimated 100 to 300,000 cases, with about 80% being American youth. I always grew up thinking it was like an external problem that was being imported. And there was basically nothing that we could do about it as American citizens, unfortunately. But when I realized that there was primarily a homegrown problem, and because I live in the Bay Area, it was happening in my backyard, I felt compelled to raise a voice for the voiceless. And so I began a congressional campaign to do just that. I have been lucky to connect with quite a few different nonprofits uh, throughout the Bay Area that focus on working with trafficking victims and survivors. They are very much focused on helping survivors reintegrate back into society. There's one that I'm thinking of specifically where they train um, tech sur uh, trafficking survivors to become tech leads. And they train in cybersecurity, they train with Cisco's programs, and then they're onboarded with companies like Cisco and Google. I don't necessarily think that government is always the solution. I think it's empowering nonprofits, community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, so that they can really wrap around um, survivors of trafficking. Our laws allow anyone over the age of 25, American citizen, um, to run for office, and that's all that's required. So I like to tell people that I'm actually like two years overqualified. And so, and just try it. I, I think it'll be really challenging for sure. You have to do things that you never imagined, give speeches to huge, diverse crowds of people. Um, but it's a bit like swimming, what they say about swimming. You can see all the graphs. You can hear lectures about how to swim, but you just got to go in and, and do it for yourself. And that's the best way that you can learn. I think definitely there's a lot of uh, mental blocks or limiting beliefs that, that I believed about myself. For example, I grew up thinking that Asian American women just couldn't make it in, in politics, that it was a Okay, excuse my language here, okay, but it's it's just the world for the male, pale, and Yale. Like, that's not my world. I'm running the campaign, I'm doing my best, and I've seen a lot of positive reception to say, wow, we didn't know that this was a possible path. And so um, as much as that is a valid perspective, Yale, male, pale, uh, there's also narratives and stories that are coming from Asian American women that are coming from um, Latina folks that are coming from all across the spectrum. And I think all of these narratives need to have a seat at the table, because when you look at America, that's what it really looks like. 